Hey everyone, what's up? It is the Unpro Pro here, and welcome back to another episode. I have updates. <laughs> welcome back to another episode of the RPG Maker VX Ace tutorials and Windows updates more than anything. Anyways, so let's go over this. This is the States tab. Uh, this is episode seven, I believe. Yeah, season two, episode seven. The states are what like controls your death, uh, poison, blind, silence, confusion, sleep, paralysis, stun, guard, immortal, cover, provoke, hide, HP regen, MP regen, TP regen, iron body, counterattack, magic evade, magic reflect, fire force, which gives you uh, fire elemental attack, halves fire damage on yourself, and increases your normal attack by 10%. Okay, sorry about that. I had to mute that part out. I coughed. Yay. <laughs> Uh, Thunder Force uh, and Ice Force are the exact same thing as Fire Force, except with the different element. Ailment Guard completely guards you against all these bad states. Uh, MP cost down literally makes magic spells uh, or anything that costs MP only 25%. Alright, so I had to mute that one again. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I decided I'll start muting like um, coughs and stuff like that. Because that it's it, you know it's not that professional. So we're gonna be creating our own little state here. It's gonna be um, 26. So you're gonna want to click that bottom right here and then click increase. My dog is growling in the background. I apologize if you can hear her. Lady, what are you doing? Her name's Lady. I don't know if y'all can hear her or not, but she's going ham. All right. So we're gonna name it something generic like hyper mode. Um, let's give it this little icon here because that is a cool icon. It's got pimpness. Restriction, I'm not gonna have a restriction. These, okay. Sorry. All right, so you, attack an enemy means you won't be able to control who he attacks. Attack anyone means uh, just like confusion where he can attack an enemy or your allies. Um, I think confusion does that. Uh, yep, okay. Attack an ally is basically the exact same thing as attack anyone, but he will only attack allies. Like, he will not attack, um... So like if you were, you know what, let's make this. Let's make this possessed. I really spelt that wrong. Okay, that is like the most horrible spelt possessed I think ever. All right, anyways, we're just gonna leave. <laughs> so attack an ally. So possessed means he attacks his friends, yeah. Priority, this is, the higher the priority, the more the icon will show like, if you have like five states on you, and this has a higher priority than those states, this icon will be shown before these ones. About an 85, let's do an 85. Remove at the end of battle, I'm gonna do that. Actually no, let's not, yeah, let's have it remove at the end of the battle. Remove by restriction, basically what this is, automatically removes a restriction if restriction has been set to anything other than none. No, I've, I've never used that, but, like, okay. So it'll automatically remove this restriction right here. Um, attack an ally. Hmm. That's actually, I don't know how that works, honestly. I never used that. But I'm guessing over time, it'll, it'll automatically end this restriction and then it'll just go back to none. So I'm not gonna have that. Um, okay. Action end. Remo okay, removing it like, say, it only lasts for like five turns, you would do five and five. If you wanted to do like up to seven turns, but no less than five, you would do five, seven. And the same thing with turn end. It's, they're almost the same thing. Here, let me ex um, read it. Specify some removal time, okay. Can I like, okay, it's not gonna tell you. Action end is like at the end of your turn. Well, no, at the end of your action. And then turn end is at the end of your turn. Yeah. You can also remove by damage. So So like if you're twenty five percent HP or fifty eight fifty percent HP you can remove it. Remove by walking, you can actually have it remove. Like uh if it's something that's um if you have slow, for example. If you wanted to make a spell called slow, which decreases your speed by fifty percent. You can do that, and then you can say, like, after walking a few, like a hundred steps or something similar, then, hold on, people are yelling. I apologize, guys. Like, I can't, I can't stop the yelling. It's ridiculous, and it's kind of ticks me off, but whatever. Uh, I hope you guys can't hear it. All right. So, again, like, um, 
if you walk, if it's after the battle and you don't have this checked, you can walk around and eventually stop it. Okay. Target name. This is like what happens um, when the target gets the effect. So, became possessed. Yeah, that's really. I guess respell this. <laughs> I'm probably spelling this really wrong, aren't I? When an enemy fell in the state, same thing, it became possessed. I like how you can just click it one time and copy and paste, it's good. It selects it all automatically. Message when the state remains is still. No, let's not have a thing remaining. You would say is still possessed or something similar to that. Is no longer possessed. So, when the state's gone, that's the message. Click apply to temporarily save the changes without closing the window. The features, when you're possessed, let's have, huh. I don't really know if I wanna do anything though. Yeah, I don't really think I'm gonna um, have anything over here. Actually, this is, hmm. Yeah, let's not do that. All right, so I'm gonna click apply. Now, if you look over here, poison, you see uh, health regeneration rate, HRG, minus 10%. This is how poison works. And um, if, here, I believe it's over here. Nope, I will find it, hang on. Perimeter, experimenter, right here. HRG, um, if you want to make like a super poison and you want to make it stronger, and you would do the X perimeter and you would just decrease this into the negative more. So that's how poison works. And that's how it takes away your um, HP in case you're wondering. So maybe if you're possessed or something, like you attack your allies, but your HP may be regenerated. I'll be right back again. And yay, be right back again. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I swear, like, people just don't even care about anything. I swear. All right, so, um, where were we? I forgot where we left off. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, the features. And uh, that's how poison worked. <laughs> okay. So, maybe, like, when you're possessed. I'm trying to think of something that we can do while you're possessed. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Let's have your evasion rate go up by 50%. Oh, never mind. That's increasing it. So, let's have it do it by 50%. So, plus 50%. If you see like a little asterisk, that means it's setting it, not adding it. Okay, so I'm going to click apply. Now we're going to test that state out by going to enemies, and I'm going to give him... Well, I'm going to make this little slime cause a state. Attack state, and we're going to do possessed. So... When he attacks, I believe he possesses you. Let's try that out. So dang loud. That is super loud. That is so loud. That is so dang loud. Yep. Possessed. Yeah, okay, that's how it works. <coughs> Let's try this. With more, actually, actually more people. So oh, that is so dang loud. Oh, that is so loud. Why do you gotta be so dang loud? Oh, cool, cool. That works. Alrighty. So that's how the uh, that's the states. And I apologize if this episode is kind of unprofessional. It's um been kind of a confusing morning. So um thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.